If you want to save an editable project, then you save the project by going into file, by going around into save project and by clicking on save project. It says save project is for Audacity project and is not for an audio file. So to for using uh, uh, the audio file in other apps, you need to use export. So I do need to save an editable file. So I'm going to press OK. And on my desktop, I'm just going to save this out. So this is the file that I have. So if I were to make some changes right here, and if I were to go to file, and then if I were to go to save project again, then it'll just replace out the same file. But let's say I want to create a new version of this exact same project. Then what I can do is I can go to file, I can go to save project, but instead I can use the save project as option right here. So once I click on save project as, uh, project as, then it creates another copy right here. So you can see that this is the original file. So I can simply say uh, that this is version two. So I'm going to go around right here, underscore two right here, press save. And then now it gets saved as another version of the file, as you can see right here. So if I were to go around, make some edits and then go to save right here. If I were to save the project, then it gets replaced on the second file right here. And the first file right here stays as it is. Similarly, I'm going to go around and to create another version of the save file. I'm going to go around into save project and I'm going to go to save project as right here. You can go around and then name it as three again. So there's another version of the file right here. So similarly, you can go around, create multiple version of the save file just like this. And that is how you can use the save project as feature inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.